Did you just turn some music off? Gregory! What the f*** are you doing? How did you get up there? Scary Alerts, número 1. Número 2. Número 3. Número 4. Número 5. Sit down, Five Nights at Freddy's is not real. Yes, it is. They're coming. Guys, you guys need me. Come and sit down. Okay, y'all, we're going to be learning about the American Revolution. <laughs> Shut your mouth! I'm listening to music! Don't be shy, go go for hands, now shake your body like a belly dancer!
I'm security guard. Today is testing day. Most of these animatronics barely move like they're supposed to. My boss called me and said I have to strictly watch the cameras at night, but I don't know why. Oh my god, he's so fast. That's Foxy. Oh my god. What's up, funny Freddy? Freddy, what's up, funny, please? Game, if I don't move, Freddy won't move. He only moves when I move. on lockdown. Vanessa, I'm scared man. It's gonna be my bumbara boom. Bum bum bada boom. They're on the plane. Just wanted to make a few new friends. You plan on staying. Oh when you're with us the party never ends. You might look at me and think you're going crazy. I'm up this long ago, you're mine. Gregory can be inside Freddy when he's inside the charging stations, which on its own feels weird. Like, I kind of expected you to hop out and leave him to charge, but nope, we pilot him inside of it and then sit there as he charges. Or could it be that those charging stations are as much for us as they are for him? Remember that secret den behind the daycare where we assumed Gregory's living? There's a strange amount of decommissioned and what appear to be salvaged security robots. Maybe for a kid who needs a robotic upgrade. The fact that there's no record of Gregory would also makes sense. If he's an animatronic, there wouldn't be records of him because he's not technically a human. It would also explain why Gregory has no parents. But maybe the biggest point of evidence comes from the very beginning of the game, where during the opening cutscene we see Freddy glitch out. This sets him on a course of being good for the rest of the game. But what causes that glitch to happen in the first place? Well, by going frame by frame, we can see that there's a security threat on the loose, and it looks to be a small child. What? It's Gregory. It has to be. Gregory is the threat here, a robot that poses a threat to Freddy's programming. But why? How? What, what, what would make sense about that? Well, to understand that connection, it's time to put a pin in Gregory and turn our attention over to Freddy. If you unlock the game's final secret ending, you end up going below the pizza plex, only to discover a former Freddy Fazbear location, Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Place. If that name doesn't mean anything to you, it shouldn't, really. Most of the restaurants in the series go unnamed. But while the name might not mean anything, the layout should be a familiar one. One large rectangular stage with lights on the trim and big speakers on either side and a smaller semicircle stage right next to it. It's from FNAF 6, Pizzeria Simulator. Notice the stools that are placed right in front, the checkered floor. We even have purple striped tablecloths and blue, green, and red plates exactly like we saw in Pizzeria Simulator. As a refresher, this is the location that Henry lured all of the roaming animatronics to in order to burn them to the ground one final time. Although for one of you, the darkest pit of hell has opened to swallow you whole. So don't keep the devil waiting, friend. And this is it, here. Seems like Henry's plan didn't quite work as expected. We still see pretty much everyone that he tried to torch away. And they're all alive and well and thriving underground. Springtrap is there. Molten Freddy is there as this big black blob. And if you look inside that blob, you can even see Baby. And heck, even the puppet. Kind of lessens the impact of that Savage Henry speech from FNAF 6, but whatever. Anyway, the reason I bring this up, outside of it giving me a chance to remind everyone that I totally called something like this happening at the end of the last theory from a year ago is that one character is notably absent here, Michael Afton, who we're reasonably sure was the guard working at the FNAF 6 location and the one who helped to burn it down. And to you, my brave volunteer, who somehow found this job listing not intended for you. Although there was a way out planned for you, I have a feeling that's not what you want. I have a Man, I'm telling you, robbing that bank was the best decision I've ever made. <laughs> <laughs> You're so crazy, bro. But what the flip are you going to do with all that darn money?